Hey guys, 343 has just released a new development blog for the Master Chief Collection which covers PC and Xbox and they were talking about something that we've always been asking for and that is crossplay. Crossplay is probably the number one thing I get asked when I'm live streaming. Hey Remy, hey Mint Blitz, when is crossplay coming to MCC? Does the game have crossplay? Can I play with my friends on Xbox? Can I play with my friends on PC? And I've always had to say no, but I hope they add it in future. So in the latest development blog, 343 writes that they've put it into the design phase. So if you didn't know, there's three phases. First of all, they talk about it, but it's not being designed. Then they have the design phase. Then they have the actual development phase where it's implemented into a flight test or a flight build of the game internally. And then finally, it gets released to us on the retail build. This is fantastic for a number of reasons. One, it's so all the players are all combined together. So finding games is so much easier. You can play with friends, which is awesome. And combine that with the custom games browser, which you can see on screen they're being planned now, should make it so the longevity of MCC as a product lasts far longer than when it didn't have crossplay. So Remy, you might be asking me then, when is it going to come out? Now I would hypothesize that it will come out after Halo 4 on PC comes out when the collection is complete. This is because they're actually talking about input-based matchmaking. Um, and if they segregate the community by making it so controller can only versus controller, keyboard and mouse can only versus keyboard and mouse, it's going to be very, very hard to find games. So I'm thinking they're going to do it after everything's released, and then maybe release input-based matchmaking so then the search times aren't as long. I'm currently working on a controller versus keyboard and mouse video, which is probably going to be out in the next couple days. In it, I found that the Halo 2 hit registration is actually worse on keyboard and mouse than it is on controller. I'm not going to talk about it too much now because I'm going to cover it all in tomorrow's video, but the bulk of this development blog really outlines the future of MCC, what they're going to add into it. I'll put a little picture up on screen now of what they're planning to implement. On top of this, they're talking about Halo 3 on PC. The flight test is starting early next month, and I'm so damn excited, I cannot wait to try it out. The biggest tidbit of information that we've gotten about Halo 3 PC so far is about the Forge, and it's actually an image of an elephant on Avalanche. This basically means, or basically confirms, that uh, 343 uses assembly. If they're updating the Forge to include elephants so you can throw it on heaps of maps, it offers so much more variety for new game modes when it finally comes out. ETA for the early flight tests are early June, first couple weeks, but honestly, don't rush it. I want it to be perfect. Halo 3 is the biggest game, the biggest population, with the most amount of hype. It's gonna bring the most amount of people into the Master Chief Collection on PC, so they have to get it right. So speaking of Halo 3 and the Halo 3 flight test that's happening in early June, what content is going to be in it? I'm happy to say that they're actually going to do FFA for once. Usually they do 4v4, 2v2, 8v8, and they rotate between those ones. This time they're going to be doing 4v4, free for all, infection, and BTB. It's really funny, but I love the flight test because it's guaranteed to get games. With the games that have been released so far of the retail version, it kind of dies off, especially the niche game modes right away. So it'll be fantastic to actually play some of the more obscure game modes during the flight test. I really hope that when Halo 3 comes to PC on the Master Chief Collection, that it keeps the population high for a little bit longer than Reach, C, and 2 did. I really noticed that on the first couple days, we have like 40 to 50,000 people playing, and it's like a sharp drop off to like 16, 15,000, and then within a couple of weeks, it's already back to 5 to 6k. But Halo 3 being the most popular Halo game, I hope it keeps the population around so heaps of people can enjoy it. The next part of the MCC development blog talks about challenges, specifically how to actually find out what challenges are in the game at that time. At the moment, it's in the message of the day or the meld of the day, whichever one you want to call it. But now, with the new flight test and eventually the new retail version, they're going to actually include a screen dedicated to it for weekly, daily, and then hopefully monthly. Just a little small quality of life update, but it's really appreciated. And I really hope they fix the XP on Halo 3 because it's actually pretty far behind the other games. And I hope the challenge XP rewards, that's about 500k a week, is buffed up a little bit too. The final big thing that I want to talk about that they spoke about briefly in this development blog is regional selection matchmaking. So you can actually choose what region you want to search in, whether it be Oceania, Asia, Europe, America, maybe it'll even have North and South America. As someone who is region locked and I have to use a non-official workaround just to get onto US servers, this is huge for us in these smaller regions. I'm really hoping they release it without the restriction of saying, oh, you're over 150 ping, you can't choose this region. So there you have it guys, that's everything that's covered in the blog, link to the blog will be down in the description below. I'm really excited for Halo 3, I know you guys are too, and I honestly, I just want Halo to be popular again, so I hope they smash it out of the park. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.